hardest session of prep so far and I'm so surprised that I actually made it through there were so many times that I was just like I want to stop but the drips down my face say otherwise we did it all right what's going on guys Brandon Hyden here hope you're having a great day we are currently two days out from the first ever pro card attempt the reason we came to Ukraine is to come and compete in my first ever pro qualifier and we're two days out as of today. Just finished probably one of the last sessions, if not the last session of proper cardio, because tomorrow will just be a bunch of steps because tomorrow will be one day out. But the plan right now is we're gonna head back. The time is about 11 o'clock. We have a haircut at 12 o'clock. We tried to get the haircut yesterday, but they were like fully booked up. Try to call, don't have a Ukraine SIM card, but we booked in for today. So we're gonna head back right now, make a little bit of breakfast, then leave again, get a fresh fade and uh, start the day. So let's do it. I'm so freaking hungry. I literally feel so empty. <laughs> it's crazy, I had a refeed yesterday and I felt like it just didn't even touch the sides. Like we had 600 grams of carbs, totaled out about 4,000 calories. I woke up yesterday, the reason we had the refeed was because I was my lowest weight of under 198 pound. Woke up this morning, 200 pound. So we literally ate so much food and only gained two pound. Meaning tomorrow, we're gonna wake up one day out, even lighter. The refeed, we tried to gain some fullness, but it turns out my body right now is an absolute furnace and can't hold anything. You want to get a, a zero? Fade. Fade. Uh, a low fade. Low fade. Yeah, just keep, keep, I like this. I like the, the flow right now. Um, maybe the, maybe just like the tips, just so it's kind of fresh. I want to keep the length um, and then just scissor cut into into this the main thing is is like a zero into like a nice fade just just to make it look fresh Oh, 
fresh big shout out to Leon for absolutely smashing it honestly like I don't remember the first show day video I went I walked to some random barbers in the middle of a town that was like I didn't never been there before and this was like the same thing but this is like a step up this is like cool. the man absolutely smashed it fade is looking clean. I think I went a bit shorter than the last show on the sides but I prefer it I haven't actually had my hair this short in so long but he smashed it Leon is the man if you're ever in Kiev rival Hit my boy up, honestly, super happy now. Um, we are going to, the plan right now is we are going to head back, get another meal in, and just kind of, kind of explore the day. It's another beautiful day today. There isn't a ton to do, other than the fact that, I mean, today's like the last workout, so we're gonna head back, have a pre-workout meal, hit the last upper body pump session, and then for the rest of the day, we do nothing but chill. We're gonna apply a bit of a base coat tan tonight. I'll explain the whole tanning situation tonight because it's not the same as it was for the last show, but haircut is done. Now, on to the next mission. There is a place to get food just at the street because we wanted like a big grocery store because we have to get fresh fish. We bought some frozen fish before, but it decreased in size by like five times. It was terrible. So we can get some fresh fish for the next few meals. Um, and the place is apparently only a five minute walk up the street. So we're just going to walk straight from the barbers to there, get back, meal prep, and then just like go to the gym from there. Post-show jam. <sighs> smells good, but it's gonna taste even better in two days. Almost three o'clock, and we've only had breakfast. Which is crazy, because we've just had so much to do in terms of just like, going to the shop, getting food, getting the haircut, the Uber situation today has been crazy because we, I'm not going to talk about it. We basically got kicked it. out of an Uber. Some guy was screaming at us, demanded money, lost his mind, parked on the curb. It was a whole thing. And um, this was all before breakfast. Um, but we're going to get back now and unpack and make some food before the gym. A bit of a prep pack. If you like umber, if you put hot water in the umber and microwave it for a sec, you can actually double the volume of it. Especially because the umber is quite thick, it thins it down, and you can drizzle it over your oats or rice and grinds, and it goes a lot longer. In this amazing bowl right here, fluffed up with a shit ton of water, we have 85 grams of rice and grinds. The blueberries here are very like water based, so you can actually have more volume as well. So it's probably about Regularly 50 grams, but in this is 80 grams. We've got some chopped strawberries as well to equal the same macros as what would be 100 grams of the blueberries. Then we have 15 grams of almond butter, half the fat content for today. I can have almond butter or I can have avocado. We've got one serving of avocado left for the post-workout meal. And a scoop of protein, 25 grams in weight, um, which equals about 20, well, five grams of protein in general. Um, this is it, it's very beautiful. This is meal number two of the day and it's literally 3.15. This is gonna be the pre-workout meal because after this I'm gonna demolish it, digest for about half an hour and then head to the gym for what will be the final workout before stage. It's not gonna be crazy, but after this, we may just be able to get a good pump. Look at that. 
Mm. I am making the, well, two meals right now, um, two of my carb meals before we go to check in because it's currently 12.30. Just got back from a water run because mine and Geordie's protocol is today we have to get in a certain amount of salt and a certain amount of water at a certain time with every single meal. It's very, very specific, but we have to cut water off at six o'clock and we have seven and a half liters to get in, which means we got a lot to drink. Just got back from the store, picked up these bottles, got one six pack here for Geordie and one six pack here for me. Literally just making uh, the rice and grinds meal here right now. And as well, about to put in the oven, because they have an oven here, they don't have an air fryer because we haven't made this for quite a while and it's the pro card cookie. It's only fitting that on the day before the show to attempt to get a pro card, we make one final pro card cookie just to season this entire what is now 19 week prep with a bang. If you don't know how to make this, uh, you can go on any of my previous like full day of eatings. There's like three full day of eatings with the recipe of how to make this in it. I think the most recent full day of eating in the description of the video too, there's the recipe on how to make it as well if you want to know because I'm not going to break it down right now but this is what's happening when we're getting some water went to the shops Jordy wanted to get some shoes and she didn't actually leave with any shoes because she didn't find any she liked but I did I bought an outfit for check-in I've already got the shorts but I got a new Nike top I haven't like all the t-shirts I bought here are now dirty I bought some brand new Jordan socks because all the socks I've got are now dirty too to match the fresh new pair of Jordans that I just bought. Never seen these before, but I saw them and I was like, these are so freaking fresh and got a little bit of a tan, nice white socks, nice black shorts, nice new Alphalete shorts that have just released as well, as well as a brand new Nike top. We now have a check-in outfit for the day to wear after I've washed off the base coat, but first we're gonna, we're gonna put this pro card cookie in the oven and finish this prep with a final pro card cookie before the big day tomorrow. On here, the oven has been preheated at 200 degrees Celsius. This is only 50 grams of oats, by the way. I've essentially allowed this to soak in all day. We've got 25 grams of protein, three grams of pink salt, 50 grams of blueberries. Spread it around, make it nice and big so it cooks evenly. Hey Siri, set a timer for 12 minutes. Your timer is set for 12 minutes. Oh. Now that is looking pretty freaking good. Oh man. Just melted some almond butter in the microwave just to top it off. This is it. The final one before we step on stage. Nice little corner piece. Just as good as ever. Oh man. It is all good. It is so good. I have no energy. One. Last one. Last one in Ukraine. Let's do it. Well, I, yeah, actually will, yeah. It will be. Because like... We're not going to train on Monday. Yeah, we're not going to train Sunday. If we train on Monday, we'll be sick. Amazing. Hey. Hey. Still got a bit of the tan from the last show, just a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, a little yeah. tan. Oh, yeah, I also, I was it, like, yeah, it yeah. Is, like, oh, maybe too long. I'm, I'm actually going home tonight to exfoliate to get it off. For yeah, like,
Right. We just arrived at the Premier Inn. This is where the event is being held. We were actually originally going to be staying here, but we thought because we're here for like four days, we needed a kitchen and just like a bit more space, so we did get an Airbnb. But the the show is held in a hotel. A bit of a step up. It's not the Premier Inn. What is it called? Ramada. Yeah. The Ramada something. I know, Premier Inn was last weekend. I still feel like I am it last week. <laughs> awkward because it's so quiet. I definitely feel like after body power like two years ago I got like a, a, a spark to take through the art like our season to make some progress and then with the last show being like so good a week ago I'm like realizing more and more now how much I love this. Yeah yeah but now it's like okay I love it so much this is the biggest show I've ever done I've been training for like seven and a half years I'm like okay pro guide now fuck me like like I've never done NPC before it's just PCA in the UK so now it's like I feel like I'm living in someone else's shoes, yeah. even being here, let alone doing the show. Because I'm like, I watch people do NPC shows and IFBB, and you, you think IFBB, you think American. Yeah, yeah. Not UK, and now it's been brought to the UK by two bros, so we now have the opportunity to do it. Yeah, yeah. So it's like crazy. Two bros have been killing it. Yeah. It looks like it's blowing up in the UK. It is. Because the UK wasn't really on the map before I, correct me if I'm wrong. Not for, not, like for, it not for IFBB, it wasn't yeah. at all. The past two years, it's like blown up. Yeah. And now we're here, the right time. Alright, so we just got our check in. We have our numbers. What number are you? 44. 44. And number 57. Weirdly, on the way to the first show a week ago, Jordi was like, You know, what are your favorite numbers? What are your lucky numbers? And I was like, Five and seven. And I literally had to move over a sheet because there was a bunch of numbers and they said you get to pick your number. I was first to pick the numbers, which is incredible. And underneath a sheet that I had to move across, I saw the number five and seven so I was like that. It couldn't be more perfect. Everyone here has been so lovely and generous and the fact that like my two favorite numbers five and seven, 57, and I feel like it's a rememberable number as well. I had to pick it. We have our wristbands, we have our sign-in certificate. We're all good to go. We even booked our we even booked our PCR test to fly back. They actually hosted uh, the ability to get a PCR test two days before you fly. And we do fly back on Monday. So whatever happens on Sunday and whatever happens, happens. So yeah, we're all checked in. We're excited. How are you feeling? Nervous, very nervous, but very excited. That's the thing, like we were walking up and there was all these competitors and there was a massive line and stuff. And we were just so, so nervous. I've never been so nervous for anything in my entire life. Like I went completely silent. I, I, I wanted to like hide in a shell of myself when I, like everyone was like looking like because everyone's like eyeing each other up obviously because these are the people that you're going to be stood on stage against but there were smiles um, people seemed quite nice um, everyone signing getting into the event and stuff was lovely so it eased the pressure a little bit um, but now we're done now we head back put our feet up put something on Netflix watch movies and listen to Callum hit the protocols he wants us to hit drink our water eat some meals eat some meals go to bed come back get a tan and step on stage again. And our Uber is here. Show day for the first ever pro card attempt. We are competing in the VK Classic ho hosted in Ukraine for the main reason that this is actually the first pro card that has ever been able to be awarded in Ukraine. So not only is it like an amazing honor to compete for a pro card, but for the first one in an entire country is a crazy experience in itself. But the date is the 13th of June and for the past 19 weeks, this is everything I've been working for. I've been going to the gym now for eight years and everything that I've put into every session, every day, 
is going to be showcased on the stage right now. The time is 8.30. Um, we literally, like, you can imagine what the night's sleep was like, like it wasn't amazing, but I did manage to get about four to five hours in total. Spent the past 12 hours in bed just like trying to rest up. This morning we hit a new low weight of 195 pound, the lightest by three pound I've been on this entire prep because I wanted to bring an essence of fullness to the show, but also more condition than the show a week ago. I carved up a little bit last night for the first time. Didn't touch the sides, but allowed me to fill up my glycogen source slightly, bring a level of fullness, but weirdly the condition has just shined through this morning, which is what I was hoping for. When I introduced carbs last night, I was kind of nervous, but woke up this morning and we're ready to go. We need to leave to get the tan in about 10 minutes, get some cash out, because some of the things we have to pay for at the event are in cash. But um, yeah, we're almost ready. This is show day. That is such a dope picture. Oh. I just woke up and saw Thank you, man. What the fuck? Thanks, bro. The trusty Lucky Hard buddy bag is now packed. We've got the classic posing trunks. 10 pound Puma sliders for when the tan's on. This has been my firm background for the past couple months now. We are finally here, 13th of July. We've also got the Lucky J Bell condition. Ooh. We've got the Lucky J Belvins on as well. I wore these at the end of my last show a week ago. So I thought it was only fitting we get them on again for the big day. I do have a few other like miscellaneous things packed in the bag as well. I've got a post show meal of oats, jam, peanut butter, some banana and stuff just to, like, the way I do show days is I don't eat until I get on stage because I want to maintain that fasted look, how I look in the morning to have the tightest waist, the best classic look because when your waist is smaller, your shoulders look bigger, your quads look bigger, all that kind of thing. And I'm not going to be the biggest guy on stage. There are going to be guys on stage today that are so much bigger than me. And the only way I'm gonna win is if we bring the shape. Got a meal prepared for post show because I'm gonna be absolutely dying. Classic is on a bit later than it was last week. Was on at 12, it's on at two this time, so an extra two hours, so I'm just gonna be chilling on my feet up, watching Geordie compete because Geordie's on before me. At her also, first ever pro qualifying event. Her second show, and it's this big, like, I couldn't be more proud of her diving into something this deep this soon, but she's putting the work. She also looks freaking incredible. In a second, when we leave, we'll be reunited and she'll be all glammed up. Remember the spend certificate, passport if we need it. Ready. The Uber has been called. Um, it's going to pick us up from the bottom of the street because there's roadworks on the street and it never really picks us up from the street. It's always a hassle getting up the hill because it's so freaking long. In the Uber. Couldn't go to the ATM because it opens at 9.15 so we're going to have to try and find some cash in the hotel. It's more than a hotel though. It's more of like a big mall because they have like shops restaurants the hotel the event it's it's a pretty big place it's always funny like being in like a different country you realize how like different things are in different places the uber to get there is half an hour but it's gonna cost three pound fifty we've been ubering back and forth to the gym and it's a 20 minute ride every day and it's two pound fifty every single day considering an uber back home for 20 minutes would be like 30 pound glasses on glasses on stage glasses off stage past two shows i wore glasses at past two shows i won we should wear the glasses.
How do you feel? I feel good. I feel tired, but ready to step on stage, but I still need to get my hair in, so we still have a process to go through. <laughs> Alright, so we just got upstairs where the show is being held, right through those doors, is where the stage is. Meg is being done right here, Tan is behind me, I'm going to go get some more cash out because I didn't get enough, I don't know what the currency is here. Someone else to show their beautiful face. Oh my god. I feel it's crazy because we, we were literally here like a week ago. I look so dark though. Look at this. You're beautiful. Thank you. you. It's honestly gorgeous. Thank you. Oh very much. god. <laughs> a little bit tired and hungry and thirsty. It's almost showtime. Yeah, we're almost there. It's almost there. Through those doors. As the day is progressing, we are getting drier and dry. Like, look at my cheeks. I've never had that before. I've I've never been this lean. I don't keep on getting drier and drier and drier all day. The condition showing through. If it's gonna happen, it's gonna happen now. All right, so we're just chilling right now. Just sat down, pay for the tan. It's literally right in front of me, um, but I gotta wait 10 minutes and then we'll be uh, all ready to go. Everyone's so nice here. Like I'm, I'm just sat on the floor and like a couple of the Federation guys, they were like, we have a room. If you wanna come sit down on the couch and stuff. And I was like, no, 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 it's okay. I, like in moments like this, I kind of just wanna like sit on the ground and have a moment. As show day goes on, my mindset just shifts from being so nervous one day out, I feel like on show day, as the hours pass, as we get closer to the stage, I like, I come alive. And I have to have those moments alone to do that. So, we're here to take the fuck over. Now the tan is on. I've actually just realized that on the TVs right there, they're playing a live stream of the event. So I hope that I can get a link to share the live stream. So like you guys may already have like probably, I mean, I would have already posted a picture with the result and stuff, but like you may have been able to watch on stage. Um, I'm gonna figure it out in the next five minutes, uh, but we just sat down, chilling, Zane's eating a sandwich. Callum is trying to find the link to the live stream. Geordie just went to get touch-ups for her tan because she's gonna be on before me and I'll be on at two o'clock, but really, really happy with this tan. They've absolutely killed it. Like it's so much better than the, uh, the tan of the previous show. This one's like Olympia level shit. This, this tan is like, this is really, really good. And I'm sure this kind lady absolutely just destroyed Geordie's makeup as well. They're really taking care of us at this show, which is fantastic. It's, it's almost time to do what we came here to do. I'm going backstage. Look at you, look at you. Oh my God. <laughs> you look amazing. You. You're gonna kill it. Thank you. You going backstage right now? It's crazy how fast this is all going. The class before Geordie's going on now, and then she's gotta go backstage and get ready, so. Good luck. Thank right. you. Bye. Kill it. All right, so this is it. We're backstage, Raquel. We can see everyone we're going to be against. We know the plan. So this is this is class C, by the way. The people that I'm worried about are in class B. There's a collection of them, so now I've only got to get, go against one of them if I win this class. But we're gonna get pumped up. We're gonna line up backstage. Let's do it. Everyone's going. Let's fucking do this. Game time. Yeah. Fifty-seven. 
left us with the second place, which honestly, it's a nice like, I guess wake up call and a bit of motivation to push on to the next show. If you just walk into a show, you win, win, win. It just like, there's something special that comes along with getting a second place because it gives you the fire that you need to push on to the next. So we got second, I'm super happy. I'm more proud of Joy for getting third in her fucking first ever like pro qualifier. But um, what we done? For now. We're gonna eat some food, enjoy some time with some friends. And then we move on to the next show, which I think is gonna be in Alicante. You got it? You got it. You got yeah. it. Congratulations, man. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. Congratulations, man. Yeah. You fucking smashed it. Yeah. Take that. Yeah. IFBB. One day. One day. Oh, my God. I've been eating oats this whole prep. But it's five o'clock and I've eaten nothing all day. Mm. This has banana, peanut butter, and jam in it. How does it taste? I'd like to say it tasted like an IFPB Pro card, <laughs> but it tastes great anyway. He deserved it. Yeah, he looked. He. His we, we made an iPhone video. I'm gonna put the video over the screen right now of what the guy actually looked like because we actually we had like a bit of a pose off backstage. Unreal. Like this is the caliber that you need to be to get a Pro card. We have work to do, and we're gonna try bring it to the, the future shows. But he deserved it. He looked incredible, he was aesthetic, he was classic, he outmassed me. And you could see how bad he wanted it. Like he was almost like crying backstage, he wanted it so bad. So congratulations to that guy. Smash his pro card. And hopefully one day I'll see him on the pro stage. We're both done for the day. Picked up second place, just missing out on the chance for the overall. Honestly, the guy that won the class B was definitely taking the overall. I won't be surprised if he takes it. He looks yeah, incredible. He looks amazing. The guy that I lost to had like 15 pound a month on me, a lot of experience. It was it was incredible to like be up there with that caliber of athlete and like hold my own, which is very motivating. You freaking did, you killed it. Just because like I'm I'm light. I stepped on stage today at 195 pounds. I was the second lightest and the tallest in the class. Imagine that. I'm literally. Yeah, but you held your own and you got second, and that's all that matters. So that's all that matters. You killed it. I'm so Thank proud of you. Am um, I disappointed with the outcome? Not at all. You may think we thought you were going to get a pro card. We thought, but this is it. This is like the detachment of like having a social media following and people being like, yeah, you're going to make it. You're going to make it. But like, there are people that train their whole lives for this, and he was like 10 years older than me. Like, he's probably done like so many more shows than me as well, which is okay. This is how you take a second place placing and allow it to motivate you on for the next three weeks because the next show is in three weeks because we ain't stopping here. I said we're gonna get a pro card this season. We're not done. We're not done. A couple days off, a week of higher food, obviously on plan, and then two weeks to slam back down because the condition isn't going anywhere. We were the leanest on stage. We just need to bring it again. Fuck yeah. Food time. I was very happy with the look. I was very happy with condition. I think the guy that beat you in the, the finals was probably 20 pounds heavier than you on stage, which does reflect in the need for us to have a, a successful off season. I know the card is still there this season. I know the card is still there. Condition is never going to be an issue for us. The condition is not the problem. It's just, uh, I think next time for the for the peak that we run, we need to come in a little bit fuller. Having the reassurance that condition is not going to be an issue with the protocol that we have. It's just time and place now. Yeah. It's just time and place. It's going to be there. It's just time and place. You deserve to be up there and you can hold your own. And it's just time and place now. Yeah. Some of the shots look like I won, but like it's not what you see in person. The judges judge the show, I think, fairly. I did deserve second place. I did get out muscled. That was the problem. I spoke to Emilio, the head judge, when we came out of the venue when there was a. Um, what a fucking. I don't know. What a day. Long term, obviously, that, you know, we've got 20, 25 pounds to fill out a weight cap. That's not an issue. When you've got 25 pounds on you, nobody's going to come close in, in those shows. But he said, this year we changed nothing and we work to our strengths. And like he said, it's, it's, it's time and place now. Yeah. You know, the look is there, the quality is there. We'll build with confidence every single show now. We know we can keep getting better. We try to come in as conditioned as possible while maintaining some fullness. When you're against this caliber of athlete that have this much muscle, you have to work to your strengths. My strength is conditioned because I can diet and I can get freaking shredded. I need to do that with a bit more time and a bit more weight under the belt. But we'll get there. With this guy, 
and if there's an extra bicep curls, we'll get it. Yeah. And we are now showered, clean, ready. The tan actually came off really, really well, which I'm really I happy like about. Though. We have looking nice, like we look like we've just spent the past like few days in Ukraine enjoying the sun and not dying on prep, but we're on a mission. One. We need to find Cinnabon. Cinnabon. Cinnabon, because it's been the one thing I've been craving of a substantial amount on this entire prep. And two, we're booked in at a beautiful restaurant for sushi, because sushi is something I haven't eaten in the past, I don't know, like three, four months. We literally haven't had sushi in that long. Like, there, is, there are various things that we had like post show a week ago that were just like, it was kind of just like shit snacks and stuff, like because we just wanted random things. But now we're in a beautiful country with Ukraine at our fingertips and all the food that we want to eat. So we're going to go to Cinnabon, beautiful sushi, and maybe some treats and stuff tonight. I don't know if this can connect to that. We'll find out. Excuse me. I've got to sample it first before they have it. This is Carl's first time. <laughs> yeah. It's very nice. <laughs> we got a bunch. We got a nut and salted caramel, original. This one is a mm. cherry, really good. blackberry. What one are you trying? The caramel like one. Brioche, so you guys, you guys went for the edges. I'm going straight for like the, the halfway cut. The oh my god, the smell of this! They just took these out of the oven. Yeah. Like we watched them take them out there. Put it in your mouth. Seconds ago. Wow. Yep. What? <laughs> what the hell? Well, if it tastes good to me, not in prep, then imagine what it tastes like in prep. <laughs> Obviously, the original is going to be amazing. Yeah, the original is nice. But we're going to taste this as well. Oh, good. wow. It's very cherry. Carl, I didn't realize you liked it that much. <laughs> <laughs> and we're here. Squad, how you doing? Welcome. Hey. Woo. Have you eaten already? Because your fucking veins are. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone on the table has made a huge mistake. <laughs> One menu, one man, one stomach, with a hunger right now, more than ever. So I basically ordered for the whole table. There's eight of us, and I think I've ordered for 17. But I'm just all about variety right now. He still doesn't, doesn't think he ordered enough. Well, sir, I am a little skeptical on the quantity of the food that you've ordered. Given the mass of that gentleman over there and the fact we have other competitors here, I'm not sure if it will be enough. No girl can eat. Yeah, you, you can eat. I think there's going to be enough. I, I think there might. It is a few hours in the future right now and we are fully stuffed from sushi. Me and Jordi decided to go on a walk down the street because it's something we wanted to do since we've been here, but obviously every day has been prep, 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 prep. But now we're done and uh, we're gonna be done at least for the next four weeks because the next show we decided to do is the Alicante. Now that is four weeks away, so we had a bit of time we have tonight, tomorrow, and potentially the next day to be a bit off plan considering we brought so much condition from this show, like from the last show and to this show, when we had the night off and we got it back in like three days and then brought a leaner condition for a show the following Sunday. So with being four weeks, like a month in the future, we decided we're gonna take the night off. We actually just got back from the store, got a shit ton of snacks. <laughs> We're gonna, we're gonna hide past Cal. We're gonna lie in bed, watch a movie, and eat the shit and enjoy it and not count the calories, not count the macros, and just feel a sense of normality because I feel like when you do push your body to like the extremes that we do, me for the past 19 weeks and Geordie for the past six months, a couple days to feel normal and to do something where you know you just Geordie, Geordie mentioned something like on the way back we're gonna fly back to the UK tomorrow and to just like get a coffee with milk in it or some sort of sweetener that isn't zero calorie or like grab a protein bar or like a protein bar or something normal <laughs> and go for a dinner like go for a nice steak somewhere Domino's and is open. we got snacks we didn't get Domino's <laughs> it is what it is snacks is good because we want we want to just we, we can get pizza tomorrow yeah. we've decided to just like put everything that's happened over the past few days into one video um so i really hope you enjoyed it yes the outcome today wasn't as expected but i'm very content i'm very happy it's been a very very learned experience like i've learned so much and i've also learned what kind of person like what kind of athlete i want to be in defeat to be the kind of person that can deal with loss and to not be able to like grow from it because you know every amazing champion every person that has won 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 and every person that you look up to on social media that won the olympia i guarantee they lost more shows than you can count on two hands before they got there and we're going to build that one day 
we're gonna get there in the end. And um, it's just gonna take a few more runs to get that pro card to be in the pro league. And Geordie as well, seeing the potential that she's brought in just two shows to place third in a pro qualifier is honestly incredible. And Geordie's fucking natural, by the way. Na natty, beating girls that aren't natty. So think about that for a second. I'm probably gonna take a week off and vlog in. I'll do a recap of the show because um, a couple of things did actually happen over the show that were quite scary. Yeah. I, I mentioned it briefly like on my Instagram story, but I'm going to dive into a video in, like uh, with what happened in the future. But that'll come next along with the comparisons, like review of the pictures, re review of like how I felt in terms of the judging and everything, what I'm going to do to develop the physique in the future. I've been vlogging this shredding series for 19 weeks. And because we're not done yet, because we have at least another five weeks of shows, we're gonna take a little bit of a break. Me and Jordi can spend some time together. I mean, it's not gonna matter to you because it's gonna be a video like three times a week anyway. <laughs> but just know that we would have spent the past week enjoying some time together and just getting back on plan and getting back on track for the next, what will be after you watch this three weeks on prep. If you enjoyed it, smash the like. If you haven't already, please subscribe. Hit the post notification button and we'll see you in the next video. Peace. Alright, some Power Rangers shit. <laughs> on, to, on to the next show. You ready? Alright, Ukraine. Fucking we smashed. Alright, hands in. What's and this, this is the. I don't know, what do Power Rangers do? <laughs> uh, Alicante in three, two, one. And then we'll come back and we'll be there. <laughs>